Hello, it's Matt here uh, with my usual black and tan in my reanimator koozie. Living up to the stereotypes that were entered in my contest, which I'll go on about in a different video. Um, I'll mention that later. This is no time for that. This is a contest entry for my friend uh, Danny, DJ Boy 3275. I think I got this right. Danny, yeah, whatever. You guys know who the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, he's got a contest going on, which you should all enter, unless you're not subscribed to him. If you're not subscribed to him, don't fucking enter you, unless you're just, like, the biggest prick ever. But, uh, <laughs> it's a pretty intricate contest. He's got a couple different things he wants us to talk about. Uh, the first being our five favorite gore films. If you watch Danny's channel, then you understand why he asks this, because he's kind of a gore guy. Jesus Christ, the picture on this thing is so saturated. It looks like a fucking Oompa Loompa. Why is it so goddamn orange? I um, guess I can fix that later. Anyway, uh, uh, five gore films I picked out for this contest, which, uh, no particular order. And I just kind of grabbed these off my shelf, and as I mentioned earlier, I've been drinking a little bit, so these might not be my best choices. Okay, uh, top of the stack I've got this little combo pack that has the fly and the fly too. I'm gonna go with the first fly with uh, Jeff Goldblum because I watched this movie when I was a kid and it made me sick. Like the scene when he's arm wrestling the guy and he breaks his arm or when he like does his little acid spit thing on the guy's hand and like melts. That fucking messed with me as a kid. Like I had a thing when I was a kid whenever I watched horror movies like they would make me scared and when I was scared I would get nervous and when I would get nervous I would throw up. And this movie made me throw up a couple times. Next we have uh, Starship Troopers, some more classic 90s stuff from my childhood. Uh, this movie didn't really bother me because it was a sci-fi action flick instead of a horror flick, but the gore in this movie is just fucking great. It's hilarious. Uh, Jake Busey was at the last full moon convention me and Tim went to, so we got to see him there. Wait a minute, no, 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 no. That's not right. He was at the first one we went to in like 2010. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. But I've seen him in person at some point. Next we got Hatchet 2. I mean, you've seen the fucking movie. You know what it's about. Fucking seven foot chainsaw up some dicks. Next I have Each of the Killer. Well, actually, the next three are all Japanese. So you know where my allegiance lies when it comes to fucking weird shit. Each of the Killer, classic Mike, some weird shit. Next we got Tokyo Gore Police. It's in the fucking title. I need to tell you more. You've probably already seen Tokyo Gore Police, so who gives a shit? I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible, because I don't want to go into a fucking review on every fucking film, because one thing I did with my fucking past videos is I do like 10 minutes on one fucking movie, which I'm starting to do now, because I'm already on the fucking 3 minute mark. Okay, uh, Vampire Girl vs. Brainstein Girl. It's an, another silly Japanese crazy ass gore film. Really fun. Okay, uh, the second thing was, uh, favorite cheese movies, which I've got right here. Of course, like he mentioned, Toxic Avenger. Wow. Uh, the second movie I ever reviewed on this channel was Bubba Hotep, and that still stands true as my favorite cheese movie. Next, we have, a uh, Slumber Party Massacre, or, wait, yeah, Slumber Party Slaughterhouse, sorry. And uh, this movie was actually made whenever DVDs were first becoming new, and people like started to play around with like, the interactivity of DVDs. So this is kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure thing with DVDs, and it's really fun. It was made by a porn star turned director named Joanna Angel, and uh, she's got some really cool stuff. If you check her out on YouTube, she's got some funny sketches. Like, look Joanna Angel, Lemon Whore up on YouTube, or Rock and Roll in My Butthole, Joanna Angel. It's pretty fucking hilarious. Uh, this is like the anime version of Ricky O, but this is my, Ricky O is my cheese pick. Uh, I have a copy of the DVD, but I think why I let one of my girlfriend, girlfriend, I let one of my, oh, fuck man, this is gonna be weird. I let one of my roommate's boyfriends borrow it, so I don't have it on hand, so I'm just gonna show you the little anime one. I picked up both animated features that follow it at the last convention I went to. And last on the cheese is, of course, the grandfather of cheese here is Basket Case. Need I say more? Okay, I'm kind of flying through this video because he's got a lot to ask on this one. Uh, I believe the third thing was where you got your YouTube name, which 
I recently switched to the make your YouTube name your actual name because I was never really happy with my YouTube name but I'll go ahead and go with the name that I'm known most by on YouTube and that's Pilot Air 88. Uh, when I was in high school I was in a couple different bands and all of them were shitty post hardcore My Chemical Romance type shit because I was young and emotional. But uh, I always wanted to start a really awesome industrial metal band because I've been listening to Fear Factory, KMFDM, Stabbing Westard, and Marilyn Manson since I was a kid. And I always thought Pilot Air would be a cool uh, name for an industrial band. I actually got the term Pilot Air from the original Crow graphic novel. And 88 is my favorite number. Not, don't think I'm a neo-Nazi because I've heard recently in the past couple of years that uh, that's a neo-Nazi thing is 88 because 8 is the, uh, or H is the 8th letter in the alphabet so if H and H is Heil Hitler or some stupid shit like that. No, 8 is my favorite number so 88 is usually what I use for like passwords and stuff like that. Okay, that's 3. Uh, he asked one more thing. What was it? Um... Oh yeah, he yeah, asked, uh, who inspired you to make YouTube videos and what has kept you watching YouTube poor videos, shit like that. Uh, the thing that really got me started on YouTube videos was uh, this guy named Roger Swan. And I've talked about him in my earlier videos and I think I mentioned him in one of my contests, just kind of giving it thanks. But uh, Roger Swan was this guy that did Japanese horror reviews and he died a year or two ago I believe. He, he died right before I started watching his video and started making my own so it would have been around uh, early 2010 he died. But uh, I'll post a link to his channel below this and he did some really great Japanese horror reviews and that's what got me started. And watching those it led me to videos by uh, Eight the Chosen One, uh, OD666666, a good friend of mine and Danny mentioned him in his video. I've been watching OD666666 for a long time and uh, guys like Mr. Parka. So people like that is really uh, what really got me started in the genre and then there's been a bunch of people that I kind of came up with you know because I've been doing this for a while but I just I keep going through these weird stupid states where I stop making videos as you've noticed with the last couple of months which I'll talk about later. But uh, OD666666, Mr. Parka, Ate the Chosen One, uh, JSR, Jamie, good friend of mine, uh, another one that I really got started with. So yeah, uh, I guess that's really all I gotta talk about in this contest video. Uh, I'll have some more videos up soon to explain the absinthe, and I'll probably start doing some new stuff that I didn't do earlier in videos, so... Bye. And that doesn't include cross-dressing. That was just a one-time thing, just to let you know. That one video, that's just, that's just a one-time thing. Okay. Bye.